Hello, everybody. Um, I was asked how I would break down a extremely large wall size decal. Um, this one uh, specifically was asked to be eight foot by eight foot, so we are talking about an extremely large size. What you're going to have to do is keep in mind that you're going to have to make it at least fit on the width of the mat, or at least the width that the silhouette will cut, which is 12 inches. This is the 12 by 24 mat that you see these little red lines right here. So that just kind of gives you a perspective of how large this is. I am going to assume that you're going to cut the full 8 foot length, and we're just going to have to worry about the width. What I would do is want everything to broke down here. Um, Everything's typed out. Everything is like it was to begin with. But what I'm going to do is come in here, and that way I can get my boxes exactly the size around it. I am going to ungroup. That breaks it down and puts your boxes around just your letters. And then I'm going to come in and grab the individual words and group the words back together. Just that way it's easier for me to control when I start moving this. So this is how I would start. I'd get it all typed out and get all of the uh, the boxes down to the actual size of the text only. We know that when we type out text, there's the extra box around it that's what lines up the font with each other. So this way, we're getting it as close to the actual size of everything that it can be. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and give you an idea. The word collaborate here is 56 inches long, so that one's pretty long, and but it's only eight and a half inches tall. What I would do is things like this. I would keep them the size. I would pull these words out and cut those as one and then hand lay them. This one here is 22 inches. So there's no way we're going to be able to cut that in one swipe. So you've got several ways you can do it. First, you're going to want to look and say, okay, I can cut this word by itself. So I'm going to pull this word down here. That one will fit on my mat or fit within the machine. It's only eight and a half inches. So we could turn it the other way. And yes, anytime you're doing anything this large, you are going to have to piece it back together. There's no no easy way about it. So like I said, we know this one, this word will fit. Turn this way. Let's look at the refresh here. And that one is only 11.3 inches. So we know this one will fit. So we can move this one off to the side and know that that one's going to fit as well. Um... But let's look at relax here. Relax is 22 inches wide. There's no way we're cutting that as one unit. So therefore, we're going to want to make sure that we can get this broke down into a size that will work. What I do is I draw a rectangle, and I'm just going to freehand it, nothing special. Now I'm going to take and come in here and go to your scale tool, and we're going to change the size of it. So we know it needs to be at under 12 inches. Me personally, I don't like to cut more than 11 and a half inches unless it's just really that pertinent. It has to be that specific size. It gives you room for a little bit of play and a little bit of wiggle. So I'm going to resize that to 11 and a half inches and apply. So this gives us an 11 and a half inch wide area. So when I kind of put that over here, what I'm looking at is you know, how much of this box is in there. We can, I'm doing a control C and a control V, and that copies and pastes me an exact copy of it. So if I put two of them side by side, we can see that it almost fits within the two. For me, that means I would be slightly resizing this word just a little bit to make sure it fits within those two boxes because those are the two boxes that I'm going to cut. 
at that point, you'd be seeing where all this is. And I'm going to take and come to my high school. And I'm going to start up here. I'm going to hold down my shift key. We're going to draw a straight line and let go. That is going to process out and it is going to cut my words in half. I have a lot going on my computer right now, so the white screen typically won't happen. It's happening because I've got video software and everything else going, so please ignore that. Um, so we're going to take away, there's our two boxes, and here's our line. I'm going to go ahead and move. It cut both of the lines because it cut the line out of there. But as you can see, there's a red line now going in between. What I'm going to do is go ahead and delete these and delete my boxes because as I need them for the other stuff, I'll just remake them. They're easy to make. So what you're going to want to do is grab, hold down shift and click, and it'll grab all those, and I will group it. Now there's one half of it. I can draw a box around all of these and group that as well. So now you've got this one is 10.6, and that one's 10.9. Together, when you cut them both, you'll line them back up on the wall, and that'll give you your word again. That's what you have to do in order to get the larger word in the place. Then whenever you go back to mark off, what I do is I put, you know, tape markings on um, my wall of where you know everything's going to line up at that way you know you're working within those lines and i will start with my borders and i'll put you know relax in because we know we wanted to come down to this corner i'll put refresh completely in and that kind of boxes you in and lets you know and you'll just repeat the same process for each of these pieces um eat you know that's 17.9 so we know we're not getting eat, eat in there that way either so again I would draw a box, select my box, go into the scale tool, and tell it height-wise, because we're going the other way now, that we want that one to be 11.5. Take that box and kind of move it down. And maybe you want this one just slightly, that way it's going in the center of the E. You may want to take it down to where it's on the edge of that E. That way, all you're doing is lining up the bottom. You can kind of cut things in half wherever you think that they would fit best. Grab your knife tool, hold, click, hold down your shift key, and drag. That gives you a straight line. That's what the, that's all about, is that gives you a straight um, cut line, and you don't have to worry about holding it straight. Release your mouth, then release your shift key. Sorry about that. I clicked the, the knife again. Um, come in here, take and move the box. You can delete it. You can delete all those. Grab the top of your letters. There's E. And again, maybe you don't like where it cut that E. You can always go in, undo it, and um, cut again to get it to exactly where you want it, where you're comfortable with lining them back up for usage. Um, so now you can take and put that back in there. And you can still see, you know, where all this stuff's going to go. Um, but that's how you're going to have to break them down to to get those to actually fit. The, the Silhouette software can do very, very large designs. You just have to work with the sizes that you want it to be and get them cut down to where it'll fit within the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and get this posted and get it going live. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I can come in and kind of break some other things down and see if, you know, maybe I missed something or something's not really clear for you. Um, but that is how I would cut a design that large for a wall. Thank you. Bye.